Welcome to OFW Runner Day 97. Today is April 6, 2017 and this is JP Adena. Today our topic is how do we stop procrastination? Or sa Tagalog sa atin sa Pilipinas, paano natin matatanggal ang ating manyana habit? Mamaya na lang, mamaya na lang. Yan po ang topic natin mamaya. And sa mga taong ngayon pa lang nanonood, this is my new day's resolution, my version of New Year's resolution, wherein instead of thinking of a task to complete within the year, I am committing to complete a task every single day of the year. And I am taking a video of it so I can inspire, inspire even just one person, that's you, to start a habit and make it a good one. And I will see you in 30 minutes. There are two ways we procrastinate, okay? A large scale, large scale procrastination, and a small scale procrastination. Okay, meaning uh, not knowing that uh, the reason why we are procrastinating on a larger scale because we don't know what to do on a small scale. Okay, let me give an example. Okay, so you want to start investing, but you don't know how to invest, right? You don't know the step one. Okay, so you don't start doing the investing because you don't know how the large scale is the investing and the don't know the how to it or the the step one is the small scale so you don't do the large scale because you don't know the small scale so what i'm going to concentrate on right now is to concentrate on the small scale because within the small scale uh things to do we also procrastinate okay so first thing you have we have to understand that in order for us to pro to stop procrastinating on a larger scale you have to concentrate on the small scale okay so we go on the small scale now okay we are concentrating on a small scale in order for you to stop procrastinating on a small scale okay you have to you have to respect the process that it will be long term okay so you have a large scale goal which is investing we are concentrating on a step one okay the step one you procrastinate on it why because you want to get into the uh, the result of the investing already okay and when you're investing you are expecting to get money right you're expecting to get your um, a larger income or a larger um, return of, of investment return on investment ROI right so you keep on thinking of the ROI investing ROI investing ROI so you keep on seeing that that you don't respect the the, the process you don't respect the the, the st step one when when in in fact the step one is to invest in yourself right invest in yourself and the first step to invest in yourself is to give back <laughs> right we've already discussed that before so uh, right now what i'm saying is you have to respect the process that it will be a marathon not a sprint so if you are expecting that it will be a marathon, you will respect the day-to-day -day activities. You will respect that uh, that in a day you don't have time, you procrastinate because you don't have time. Then first thing you have to do is when you wake up, stop pressing the snooze button. Okay, the extra nine minutes did not do you good, but if you wake up after the sn the, the alarm goes off then you get your nine minutes extra time okay you could have you could have done something with that those nine extra minutes okay so you could have brushed your teeth um i don't know whatever routine you have in the morning right so you could have done that and then the extra time that you can sometimes we when we snooze we have a habit of snoozing we snooze five times so that that's nine minutes times five right that's 45 minutes already and then you go in a hurry after right because we'd like to be in a hurry and we'd like to go to our destination in a hurry right we have to stop doing that stop snoozing you'll get your extra 45 minutes you'll have your extra time then start with the most difficult task of the day first because your willpower is battery operated <laughs> right battery operated you you do your the hardest thing first to the easiest okay next is to have a break 
have a break meaning rejuvenate re uh, recharge yourself take a nap take a 45 minute nap a 15 30 45 minute nap and then I do this with my daughter uh, I, I read something that uh, that actually the what to expect when you're expecting book I've read that children are sharp when they just woke up so you were the sharpest when you woke up but you snoozed <laughs> right? and then you snoozed again and you snoozed again you're, the sharpness that you had when, when you first 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 opened your eyes was lost disintegrated right so use that sharpness in, uh, when you woke up to do the hardest thing first right and then eight hours after you woke up take a nap right and then when you woke up when you wake up or after your nap you'll be sharp again and then do the hardest thing again it's like it's like you got uh, instead of a day you got two days because you woke up two times right and you were sharp two twice Reju you got rejuvenated right so concentrate on that one and then this is the best part <laughs> I know you'll like this one stop procrastinating have a lull time a dull time a time for yourself that you're actually doing nothing significant in your life right uh, your escape do that in a day schedule it in a day okay the, the reason why I'm, I want you to schedule it because you do it anyway <laughs> you do it anyway but the thing is if you don't schedule it you will do it the entire day <laughs> if you schedule two hours don't be don't, schedule four hours don't be naive go schedule four hours of Facebooking tweeting whatever uh, PlayStation whatever schedule four hours in a day right but be strict on those four hours after four hours you stop after two hours you stop and then do what you have to do again go back to your to-do list I know these are simple things but try it try it I have a I have a dipping system that I will talk up to you about tomorrow okay so stay tuned I know you can do this I know you can because if I can do this I can walk jog or run 365 days this 2017 I know you can too